WWDC is June 9th. iPad OS is gonna be more like Mac OS, like menu bar at the top of the screen, new Stage Manager 2.0 that comes out. Might get a version of Stage Manager on iPhones with USB-C port, instant game changer. WWDC is coming up and as always, there are rumors coming out about what Apple will be, I guess, revealing or showing off to us. One big rumor that always seems to circulate around this time is iPad OS is going to be more like Mac OS. There's going to be a desktop mode and you're going to be able to, you know, run full Mac OS on iPad. I do not believe it. We get this like every year. We always get the same rumors and everyone always gets their hopes up and then we always see what they reveal and it's like, oh, okay, I guess we're going to wait again until next year. Apparently for you know, iPad OS 19, there's been a number of people that have said this, including Mark Gurman, you know, the all knowing Apple leaker. Apparently there's going to be a Mac like menu bar at the top of the screen. And there's going to be a new stage manager 2.0 that comes out with more windows. I guess you could have more windows, easier multitasking. You know, you might get those traffic lights that Macs have like on the top left corner of all their apps, the red, yellow, and green. There's rumors also that we might get a version of stage manager on iPhones with USB-C ports, a very like toned down version, sort of like not quite Samsung decks, but the idea of Samsung decks. And, uh, there's also rumors that it might only be happening with the magic keyboard. I don't one, I don't believe that we are going to get something like Mac OS on an iPad. I could see, okay, maybe stage manager gets a little bit more features, a little bit easier multitasking, but not for a second do I think we're getting Mac OS on iPad. Stage manager on an iPhone, that's a little more interesting. I still don't see it happening though. The rumors are saying that when you connect your iPhone to an external monitor, you'll be able to multitask like you can with stage manager, but I don't see, I don't think people will hook up their iPhones to an external screen with a mouse, with a keyboard. I just, I don't see that happening. I don't think Apple cares enough to make multitasking a thing like that, like Samsung Dex, but I mean, we'll have to wait and see. I think WWDC is June 9th, but I know you're not an iPad user, but you've heard me rant about it enough times. Do you think we get something like Mac OS? Do we get Mac OS? Do we get more? functionality do you think we get this stage manager on iphones at some point or do you think it's just it's all just smoke and mirrors it's funny uh prior to you just mentioning the history i kind of fell for it you know there would be a mac os like update to ipad os based on the rumors that we've been hearing but now that you mention it it's like yeah we kind of do hear something like that every year and it never really happens in terms of plugging in an iPhone, I don't see that happening. I know you like Stage Manager. Do you think it needs as big of an overhaul as I do? I definitely think it needs an overhaul, but really the only thing I the only thing I think they need to add to Stage Manager is the Windows tile-in that they just added to Mac OS Sequoia. You know, Windows laptops have had this forever. If you pull a window to the left side of the screen, it will snap to half. If you pull it to the top, it'll snap to the full thing. If you pull it to a corner, it'll snap to like a quarter of the screen. If they bring that to stage manager, instant game changer for stage manager. It's not like it's still underpowered compared to other stuff. But I think that would go a long way for making stage manager more useful. I like using stage manager at times. Like sometimes if I want a YouTube video playing and I want to take notes and I want to have, you know, a browser open at the same time, I can only do that on stage manager because their, their current split view mode, you can only have two apps open or like one app in a slide over, which is kind of annoying at times. So I think if they bring that to stage manager, that would, that'd be a huge increase to productivity and making productivity easier easier. The one other feature that I would like them to bring, and I think would be huge if they brought was the same finder that's on Mac, bring that to iPads. Cause I use the files managing, like the files managing app and it works, but I think that's simply just because I've gotten used to using it. And I don't think it makes like intuitive sense 
how the files are organized or managed on an iPad. I think I've just used it for so long that I'm like, okay, I know how it works. If they bring the same Finder app to iPads that's on Mac and they bring a window, you know, better window tile into stage manager, I think that would go a long way towards it being more like a Mac without putting Mac OS on it. Like when people say they want Mac OS, like really they want, they want to be able to have multiple windows open wherever they want, essentially wherever they want, but they also want to be able to manage their files properly too. And I think those two things would go a long way with iPad users. Also, it's like we should have desktop class apps on the iPad. The same exact processor that's in the iPad is in Mac books and like Mac desktops. So it's powerful enough. And we have things like, I believe Logic is the same between iPad and and uh, iPad and Mac. I believe Final Cut is the same between iPad and Mac. I know DaVinci Resolve is the same between iPad and Macs. So I think hopefully, and I think this is more of like on the developers to do it, but hopefully we get more apps that come out as just, okay, like Excel, for instance, Excel on my laptop is very different than Excel on my iPad. And it's frustrating. It's annoying because like there's so many things that I want to be able to do, but it's like I might as well not even open up this this spreadsheet on my iPad because there's so much missing from what I can do. And it's the same processor. So I should be able to run the same like the same power of app. So yeah, or I guess the same quality of app. But I think, yeah, those two things with like a 0.5, two and a half things, a 0.5 being desktop quality apps, I would think people would lose their minds over that. I mean, one of the features that I feel like never gets talked about because all the attention goes to iPad is iOS on the iPhone. Do you think we finally get split app views of like top half of the screen is one app, bottom half of the screen is another app? This is a feature I use every day on my Android phone. And if I'm, unless I'm mistaken, I feel like that still doesn't exist on the iPhone. If you've made it this far and you liked the video, please hit subscribe, hit the like button, and I'll see you in the next one.